Namaskar dosto apka, mir YouTube channel, Mesva Gadhai. Hello, my name is Ruslan, I am from Russia and now I will watch video from India. The name of this video Why did China invite India in 1962? Short animated documentary. Very interesting. Okay, let's start our video. After World War II, conflict between major nations became much rarer. Yet in 1962, a large-scale land war broke out between the People's Republic of China and the Republic of India over these lands. And after the war, this bit was yes. taken from India and became a part of China. But given how things were at the time with the Cold War and how unsure the outcome was, why did China invade India? So, as of the 1960s, the Indian-Chinese border looked like this and was the result of careful consideration between the two peoples and of course it wasn't. The border had been drafted by Britain in the early 20th century in an agreement with Tibetan China. And by agreement, I mean diktat, in which Britain declared the border between India and China to be this and that Tibet was now a Chinese puppet state. The Chinese refused to accept this, mostly it's because they hadn't been invited to the conference, but the British United didn't care and considered it to British be a deal. Does it. Now, India gained its independence in 1947, and along with its freedom, it also gained a territorial dispute. One which was made worse when China annexed Tibet in 1951, and since it was one of India's most important trading partners, it soured relations. Tensions rose until 1954, mm. when India and China came to an Tibet agreement in which they agreed to respect each other's territorial integrity India. and increased trade. This was up until 1960 when Tibet was host to a failed uprising and the crackdown afterwards damaged India's ties in the region. The Indian Prime Minister, Jawaharlal Nehru, was critical of China's response and gave shelter to those fleeing the region. This angered the Chinese government and its foreign minister, Zhu Enlai, pushed for a military response to wow. do two things. One, take this territory, which was populated largely by Indians of Chinese descent, and two, dissuade India from supporting any Tibetan rebels in the future. As such, spies were sent into northern India to lay the groundwork for an invasion and the Chinese built up infrastructure in the border regions and started to move soldiers there. The Indians, fearing an escalation, created the forward policy, which would build up their border defences and make India's claim to the land indisputable. They also approached the Western powers for advanced weapons to defend themselves, a request that the West denied because India was seen as being too soft on mm. communism. As such, the New Delhi government turned to the Soviet Union, who, having fallen out with China, was happy to make an ally and damage a former friend. In October 1962, after small-scale clashes between Indian and Chinese forces, 40,000 Chinese soldiers crossed into India here which itself only had several thousand soldiers in the region. The Chinese leadership Difficult wanted a quick situation. war because their military was both unsure as to how well India was prepared and also believed that they couldn't win a war of attrition. And launching an attack in October was useful too, since soon after the fighting began, the United States and the Soviet Union were too busy with a certain Cuban Missile Crisis to do anything about it. Ah. At first, China performed well and pushed into the area with ease, and Zhu Enlai pushed for peace negotiations, which Nehru rejected. And a month after Chinese forces had crossed into India, they had reached the edge of China's claim to territory, and so they declared a ceasefire, meaning that the war was effectively over. Because China didn't want to push its luck, and India wasn't in a position to respond. So, in the end, this war had many long-term effects. The loss pushed India to modernise its military and begin the development of nuclear weapons, and the snub by the West pushed it closer to the USSR. And Pakistan gained too when itself and China settled their own disputes over their common border, which in turn pulled Pakistan away from the West. Since due to the increased trade, they'd gotten more from Beijing than they ever had from Washington or London, which completely changed the balance of power in the region. I hope you enjoyed this episode and thank you for watching, with a special thanks to my patrons, James Bizanet, Mr. Wolf, Kelly Moneymaker, Sky Chappelle, Jerry Lambdin, Jordan Longley, Adam Stalter, Corsho Wolf, Gareth Turner, Marvin Cassell. Oof. Very hard to understand, but I... Hear about uh, this war, Chinese Indian War in 1962, but I don't know about the reasons of that war. Uh, as I understand, uh, British Empire, uh, when British Empire go go home and stay in India. Uh, get independent. Uh, they uh, they say agreement to Tibet, China, and India borders, and uh, British say uh, one plane, but China say 
we don't like this plan. And after that, China uh, gets Tibet to his uh, territory. And Tibet be a uh, largest uh, partner of India. India don't, don't like that, that occupation. Uh, but uh, Chinese and India support Tibetan, Tibet peoples who don't like that. Uh, and China don't like that. And after that, China go to Indian territories uh, and get some territory. And the situation is... Uh, very difficult because uh, USA and Soviet Union, they uh, USA say no to India. Uh, India want to get weapons from USA and British, but they say no. Uh, Soviet Union uh, take his weapons to India and very difficult situation. I, some parts of this video I understand, but I don't understand uh, all of this picture of this war. I don't know how the, how situation now, uh, what territories uh, now in control of India, what territory is in control of China. If you know that, write commentary, because I don't understand how the situation now. I don't know. Very uh, difficult to understand to me. <laughs> but I understand small part, I think. Uh, and I don't know, this video, maybe it's not true, because this is internet. Uh, maybe someone of you say to me this is not true. But I'm interested in how situation on this North territories of India now. Please tell me about that. Okay, this is my reaction on this video. Thanks for watching this video with me and see you later on my channel. Bye-bye.